Hello guys and welcome to a new Still Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you game one out of two games between Gonzo and Herr Robert in round three of the second European tournament. Today we are going to be seeing Medare and on the allied side Gonzo has chosen the first SSB and on the Axis side Herr Robert has chosen the 716th. So these are two very different divisions to what we would usually see and I am extremely excited to see how this matchup plays out. The first SSB I think can be a very good competitive division because it has a lot of pushing power in phase A due to its strong infantry, the fact it has M4s and also it has Centaurs. So that combination is really really strong and something that if the first SSB can take advantage of leads them well through their terrible phase B and then into phase C where they can back themselves up with an abundance of AT guns and aircraft. As for the 716th, it's a questionable choice from Herr Robert, but one that I feel does suit the map relatively well if Lorraines are able to be used effectively. Because although you have kind of bad infantry compared to the first SSB, if the Lorraines can keep those infantry pinned, you don't need to fight them. And that's something that the 716th do very well. They have fantastic artillery support. That means their infantry just has to be meat shields. And is one reason that I really like the division. I think the way that they play with the whole rolling barrage is really, really, really nice. They also have access to other infantry though, like Panzerschrecks, and those could definitely be difficult for Gonzo to deal with in this terrain. But as long as Gonzo is smart about how he advances with his infantry and then supports them at range with his M4s, I think he'll be fine. Let's see some of these units going down. So on the top side here for Gonzo, he is actually going to be bringing in a Morris LRC. There's going to be the command there and some infantry to go with it. Centaur 4 with its 1,200 meter range, 13 HE main gun. Further down, we see more infantry with the Willys MMG and the tank busters. These tank busters can be utilized to take care of any B2s that Herr Robert maybe brings in. And then on this very bottom side, it's a couple more units of infantry with another tank buster. So tank busters are the only AT that the first SSB get in phase A, but that is kind of offset by the fact they get some pretty cheap Germans. On the side of Herr Robert, it's just going to be the Aufklärer on the top side with the Kubel MG. Further down, we see two units of Ostruppen with the Panzerschreck. Below that, Panzer 39 going to be accompanying four units of Ostruppen two Panzerschrecks, two Command Infantry, and a third Panzerschreck there. They are most likely going to spread out between two areas in the mid. And then on the bottom side, it's just going to be one unit of Recon and a Mortar. So an interesting layout from Herr Robert at the start. A huge portion of his troops is going to be pushing for the center of the map. And then we're going to see a light defense on the top and bottom side. But this may be bad for Herr Robert because, of course, Gonzo has the majority of his forces on this top side where there is only going to be a Kubel MG to stop him. And that is really not going to do much against the Centaur. So let's speed this match up, get this game underway, and we'll have a look at exactly where these orders are heading these troops. So on this bottom side, a relatively nice spread from Gonzo. Only having one unit of infantry in the middle though is interesting. Just going to be plopping that into the chateau in order to stop any aggression from Herr Robert moving through these trees. It seems as though Herr Robert is going to have to get aggressive in the centre whilst Gonzo pushes in the open ground because it's going to be difficult to deal with these units unless a pack 40 is brought in early on. 
and it really depends how quickly these forces are spotted. The Ostrupen, they're getting into a position. Now Robert has actually brought a lot of these troops to the bottom side, accompanied by this Panzer 39. I did think it was a little bit weird that this 50mm mortar would be accompanying one unit of recon, but as it turns out, other infantry is here to support, and that is very important. However, 55% territory lead here for Gonzo early on is not ideal. And the Morris LRC is going to open up onto the Ostrup, and although a Bring gun does not really suppress very fast, it's definitely pretty lethal. Kills off three of those Ostrupen nice and quick. Scout's going to move in there. The great thing about these scouts is they do have the Lanchester submachine guns, and those have eight, eight HE which is going to rip these Ostrupen to shreds. It's not often you see a recon squad be so potent, but the fact is these Lanchester submachine guns can do a lot of damage. And that is, it, that is exactly what you've just witnessed on this top side. And with that Ostrupen going down, Gonzo makes some more ground. Now Herr Robert going to be invested in, in a Flak 88 to defend on the top. He's going to be putting that onto the railway by the looks of things to prevent any vehicles from moving down it. But with a Centaur 4 on the field, it, Gonzo surely will be able to fire position just to the left or right of the 88 and take it out that way. So 58% territory relinquished to Gonzo early on. The troops on the bottom side were Commando Supports, Commando Assaults and Commando Fusilier Marines. The reason I didn't identify them before the start of the game is because they all look the same, and they all come in the same vehicle. They, they have the same veterancy, they have the same vehicle. Um, generally, different infantry has either different squads or different veterancy, which allows you to identify them before they unload. But in this case, the SSB is an outlier, and Commando Assaults here should make short work of Ostrupen. That is 18 HE on target, plus the HE grenade, and... Wow, those Ostrupen were <laughs> absolutely annihilated. Poor chaps. I am actually surprised that not a single Lorraine was purchased at the start. But then again, it seems to have not even mattered, as this infantry is being taken apart by Gonzo very quickly. And the Lorraine may have not had time to get involved anyway. This 88mm uh, Black 41 going to be hitting the Wildcat. Wildcat does manage to get its bombs off, though. Finds the pin onto the 88. Panzer 39. That's got longer range shot against the Fusilier Marines, but nothing too much going to happen there because it's one HE. Ostrupen did manage to clean up these scouts that move forwards, and this Panzer 39 has been forced to fall back. These Ostrupen are holding back some more scouts, but here comes the Sherman 2DD. These are the nice, cheap Shermans that the SSB have access to, 125 points apiece. Really, really good in combination with the Centaur. And honestly, there's not really much Herr Robert can do to break down those forces unless he invests, like I mentioned, in a Pack 40 that can find an ambushing shot onto these forces. Because he can try and do it with the B2, but the B2 has significantly worse stats, and the 7 AP is not going to penetrate the 9 front armour of a Sherman 2 at the end of the day. And whilst this is going on, the commando leader has just moved on straight into the Ostrup and then taken those out. Fusilier Marines and Commando Assaults are pushing through the forest in the middle, and that's now 60% territory for Gonzo. So, I can't help but feel that Herr Robert has shot himself in the foot with this division choice because at the moment it is definitely not working out for him. These Ostrup are just too damn weak against the infantry of Gonzo. If the commando assaults do get caught out of range though, as you can see they've taken a lot of damage, but here at close range, Ostrup and no chance. So another Ostrup in there, Fusilier Marines get close, take them out. Easy for the Fusilier Marines to advance on that position because the tanks and so on are supporting. This double team is basically all Gonzo needs to get the job done. 
and something that does make the first SSB very strong in phase A. And against a division like the 716th is something they can continue exploit to exploit throughout the game. Because generally, if you were going up against the Axis as the first SSB, moving into phase B, you'd struggle to be in a position um, to deal with the armor that the Axis can reinforce with. But in this case, the only armor that's ever going to come in is the B2, and possibly Marders. But an M4 at close range can deal with those. So this Sherman 2 is quite simply just shrugging off these shots from the M4 at the moment as it retreats after it did get hit by the AT8. That is leaving enough time for this Centaur to pin the B2 and also the Ostrupen that came in next to it. The 3 inch mortar is now getting shots onto the 88mm mortar or 88mm flak 88 as well. Not entirely sure what found the kill there. The Sherman 2, I think it ended up falling back into line of sight of the Flak 41, so it got shot. Well, that's one way to deal with it. The 88 was not efficiently pinned down by the 3 inch mortar. So it looks like Gonzo dropped the ball there for just a second. Now we see the Panzer Habitzer Lorraine come in though. And that is something I hope will be utilised to great effect to pin this infantry and try and make back some ground. But with all of his infantry so far that's trying to reinforce getting pinned down by the B2, I don't see Herr Robert in very good position here at all. And this infantry in the mid and bottom side is still making ground. Gonzo's continuing the aggression across the entire map whilst Herr Robert's funneling his forces straight into Gonzo. The Panzer Habitzer Lorraine did pin down the 3 inch mortar. Now we're going to see the Wildcat come in. Get a bombing strike off. Onto this poor infantry. Does a little bit more damage. Another unit of infantry was killed before it unloaded. 88 was falling back, so I couldn't shoot at the Wildcat to stop that bombing strike. Lorraine's now trying to hit the Centaur. And that will maybe enable the B2 to push forwards and, and find a kill. But. Another unit of infantry goes down before it unloads. This Sherman 2 has replaced the one that just died. And since he already has control of the entire center of the map, he can just drive his reinforcements straight down there. And that is working out very well for Gonzo at this moment. Getting those reinforcements in nice and quick due to securing that reinforcing road. Now Gonzo is only 1% from plus 3. And that is not a situation you want to be in as the 716th. In the early game you just can't afford to lose this much ground to the infantry of the first SSB if you want to stabilize moving on because this is just going to com completely compound as we continue because Fusilier Marines will get replaced by Raw Marines and things just don't get better. Yes the first SSB do drop to 80 points per minute in phase B, but if they've already got the units they need on the field, the B the B2 already can't deal with the Sherman 2, and the 88's already being counterbatteried by the 3 inch mortar. This Lorraine though might be able to save it. If the 3 inch mortar moves forwards and has another go, then the Lorraine will be able to find the shots. But this Sherman 2, it's in a very deadly position. It's only a matter of time until this smoke clears and then that Sherman 2 gets a direct shot onto the Panzer Habitza Lorraine. It did just clean up the Panzer 35. On this bottom side though, IG-18 has been brought in to assist Ostrupen. Ostrupen on the very bottom, being hit by commando supports. So these Vickers K-guns, very good at range, very similar to Ranger supports in their effectiveness and if utilized at range do very well. So the Panzer Habitzer, it is finding the shots onto the 3 inch mortar. B2 is now finding shots onto the Centaur. Yes the B2 will be able to force the Centaur back but I doubt it's going to find the kill unless the Centaur shows side armor. I guess there's also potential that the 9 HE Howitzer can kill the Centaur but maybe not the main gun. The Sherman 2 though moves down 
it's got direct shots onto the 88. The three inch mortar is doing its best and well, Herr Robert does manage to destroy it with the counter battery, but it's pretty much done its job. As long as the 88 is falling back, the Sherman 2 can clean that up, removing the only threat that really stops the Sherman from engaging the B2 at close range. The 67% territory, Wildcat coming in with another bombing strike. Going to try and neutralize the B2 here, or at least panic it so the Sherman 2 can possibly get aggressive. On this top side, Fusilier Marines double teaming Ostrupen. Not a place where the Ostrupen want to be at all. IG is managing to cover some of the infantry advance from Gonzo. But he's just done so well to take advantage of his phase A so far. Nice snipe there from the Pack 40. Does manage to crew wound the Sherman 2. If it can hit, get the kill, that will take off a lot of pressure. Nicely done. But plus three does mean that Gonzo is going to be winning in six minutes if he keeps it up. And that is not long for Herr Robert to work with. Werflammen is on the field. There is potential for a very nice strike in this area. If that works out, then we could see a break back from Gonzo. But since we moved into phase B, Sherman 5s are a thing. And these are slightly better than the Sherman 2s because they have 11 front armor as opposed to 9 front armor. So something like a pack 40 will have a harder time killing a Sherman 5, giving the Sherman 5 more time to react. And that can make all the difference. Meanwhile though, Commando 6 squads, these things are deadly. So damn deadly. And there it rips apart one of the Ostrupen squad. We'll now be moving through to try and take on the others. Here comes the Verflammen. Does hit the mark. Forces back the Morris LRC for the time being. Now Herr Robert just needs to try and secure that with some infantry. But as we can see on this top side, Fusilier Marines have actually made ground into this forest. Pioneers are the right cool to get rid of these Fusilier Marines. And it looks like the Pioneers should win these engagements. But the fact that he's being forced to fight over this forest basically means that it's going to take him too long to push the, the front line back enough to really win the game. And I think, honestly, with this initial aggression from Gonzo, he's really just done very well uh, to secure this much ground. And a plus three... I think it's just too much for Herr Robert. So the Pioneers, they clean up the, the Commando Fusil and Marines quicker than expected, but we've still got to get through this orchard. And that's going to be hard with a Sherman 5 in the way. Sherman 5 is going to be smoked off by the 50mm mortar. I like the use of smoke from Herr Robert. Back 40 now finding shots towards the Commando 6 squad. This 3 inch mortar, it's got an important job to do when it comes to pinning down the IG because the IG can exploit the range in order to take out a Commando 6 squad and that's exactly what was happening. On this bottom side, Italian infantry trying to stand up to the Commando supports, Royal Marines and Tank Busters but not doing very well and now the Centaurs come through, IG 18's dead. There is going to be no chance for this infantry. Surely that has completely sealed the deal. It's also engaging the B2, which may allow the Sherman 5 to get aggressive. Saying that, the Pack 40 is still in position and has not been taken out by artillery yet. But, with the plus 3 on the board, Gonzo really, all he needs to do is prevent Herr Robert from making back any ground. And seems to be just making more ground himself. I think, in general, it just comes down mainly to the division matchup. Ostrupen just aren't really beefy enough to engage with the commando units for long enough that the support units of the 716th can get involved. And that's basically the problem that Herr Robert has had. Like, he's brought in the Lorraine and the Werframmen but by the time he's done so, all of his infantry that would have revealed the location 
of enemy infantry has already died. And that is really bad because now the Lorraines and Verframen aren't going to be as effective as they otherwise would have been. Nice kill though for the Pack 40. Surprised these Pack 40s didn't come in sooner, if I'm honest. That's taken the engine destroyed there onto the M4, Sherman, and uh, now cleans it up. These pack 40s, yeah, they've done really well. Again, just surprised they haven't come in sooner. I ex kind of expected one on the bottom side earlier on, and definitely one on the top side, because it can dominate the 1,200 meter range engagement. The only thing, of course, you have to be worried about is the Centaur 4s. But if it's kind of tucked in on return fire, say where this Alphatale is, then no chance really for that to be spotted before um, you get the shot off. But Panstrek did kill the Sherman 5 on the bottom side, so nice job by Herr Robert to pick up a kill or two towards the end here. But with 58 seconds until Gonzo wins the game, the clock has just gone against Herr Robert in this one. And what a fantastic performance from Gonzo. Really utilised his strong infantry to make ground in the centre and bottom side early on. And then played around the Centaur Sherman 2 combo on the top side to break through there. Now even the 3 inch mortars coming in to counter battery the, four, the pack 40. We see more infantry coming in from Gonzo, he's now using his Royal Marines. And these Royal Marines, the only difference really between them and Fusilier Marines is that they have the Piat available. Here comes the Wildcat again. Just going to bomb that Panzer or that Panzer Shrek. Get rid of that. Just a little bit of a revenge kill there towards the end. And that's job done. So, very nice use of the first SSB by Gonzo, showing its feasibility in phase A. Division, the division choice of Herr Robert did definitely shoot him in the foot, but. I think there was potential if the infantry maybe avoided the engagements on the bottom side earlier on. I'm not entirely sure because with those Ostrupen, with those engagements against the Commando Assault, for example, there's just no way you can win. But your best bet is just to back off to a distance where you can actually use the machine guns before they get in range. But it's very hard to do on a map like Murdere. But even if you do manage to do it, then you've got to rely on your artillery to pin down the enemy infantry because it's unlikely your Ostrupen are going to do so themselves due to their lack of veterancy. It's hard to say if this was ever winnable by the 716th, but personally, I think with a division that's so good in phase A with the first SSB against a division that suffers against Shermans in the first place, Gonzo had the advantage going in for sure. But after 17 minutes and 47 seconds, Herr Robert is defeated. Gonzo reached the 2,500 points. In the end, kill death pretty close. 985 kills to 970 losses. But the reason the map was so far in favour of Gonzo, regardless of these kills and losses, is because the infantry engagements were so favoured towards Gonzo. Whereas most of these losses probably come from the Sherman 5s dying and the Sherman 2s. So in the Morris LRC, that actually showed up, killed off four units of Ostrup and the Grenfjeller and a Panzer 39. German 2s, they didn't get too many kills, a couple of Ostrup in there. The Centaur helped engage at range, but again, didn't really do too much. I think a lot of the game was just carried by this infantry, and you can see the Commando Fusilier Marines taking out Ostrup and one of the Italian infantry, Commando 6 taking out Italians and some of the Ostrup and Royal Marines, again, trading very well. And the Centaur did take out the 88 in the end, but other than that, he had no significant Sherman kills. Whereas, if we go over to the losses and what a Herr Robert killed, his 88 killed one of the Sherman 2s, Pack 40 killed a Sherman 2, he killed two Sherman 5s, and that's a lot of points. But in general, the infantry engagements were going in favour of Gonzo, so he kept losing ground because he couldn't keep those vehicles forwards. 
or keep his vehicles forwards after he killed those units. Also, um, a couple of those Sherman 5 kills happened towards the end, which made up a lot of the, the kill-death ratio. So there you go. Interesting first game between these two. The division choices were actually pretty nice to see. But moving into the second game, we'll have to keep an eye on whether or not Herr Robert can take the fight to Gonzo. Gonzo, of course, being a spectacular player. Herr Robert, very good himself. If there's anyone who can give Gonzo a good game, it would be Herr Robert in this round. But there you have it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.